analyst with Cognizant. What does SMAC mean? That's social, mobile, analytics, and cloud. We're recognizing the fact that the four of those working together are changing the way the world runs. Let's just think of it for a minute. I've been using quite often the word conduit to describe mobile devices recently. What do I mean by that? Well, with your mobile device, my mobile device, you can in fact collect data, share data, use this for messaging, for phone calls, for email, for searching and browsing, for photo, for uh, creating photos, for recording video, for listening to music, watching streaming video. You can do mapping and location-based services. I can make payments at Starbucks with my one click at Amazon. I can do hotel reservations. I can do airline reservations, my airline tickets. I get mobile marketing. I get uh, mobile retailers we just talked about here. Everything we're doing today can be done on this device. And more and more, social collaboration, not only through our social networks that we might personally use, but our businesses as well. It's one of the huge areas. I mentioned social, mobile, analytics, and cloud earlier. You know, everybody's talking about that. Aberdeen calls it SOMOCO, social, mobile, cloud. Um, I think uh, Forrester calls it um, social, mobile, data, and cloud. Gartner calls it social, mobile, information, and cloud. It's all the same thing. Bottom line, all of that is being done through this conduit, this mobile device. So this mobile device is becoming more and more important to everything that we do. And we're seeing it change things and transform businesses in ways we may never have expected in the past. Let me just share some of the recent stuff we're looking at. Let's just imagine right now a typical org chart in that pyramid structure where the CEO's at the top and all of us minions are here at the bottom. The mail rooms, the workers, the entry level positions. Here's the challenge. At every level in that org chart are gatekeepers to innovation and ideas. Ideas and innovation that might have been developed at the lower levels. And those ideas need to be moved up the chain in order to be embraced and adopted. But how do you get innovation and productivity gains and ideas and inventions, all of this, how do you get it up through those org charts when every level the gatekeeper has their own career ambitions, their own political agenda, their own time constraints, the fact they won't remember everything, or uh, disor they're disorganized and they simply lose your good ideas, or they think it's not the appropriate time to bring up that ideas because they have other priorities right now. Bottom line, every one of those layers stops innovation. How many, how many of our companies suffer every day from that lost innovation? I recently read an analyst report that said they believe that the majority of productivity gains coming out of companies in the next few years are going to come from internal productivity improvements because of collaboration. Here's the thing. When you put together social collaboration sites, it changes the very way companies run, the way ideas are shared and innovation. Let me give an example. When you have wide open collaboration platforms that allow everyone to input their ideas, thoughts, and innovations, it becomes shared with every other participant equally. It's the democratization of ideas because you don't have gatekeepers when you share an idea on a forum that the CEO reads, that everyone from the mail room to the the sales managers to R&D and the CEO, if they're all on the same collaboration sites, sharing ideas with each other, that eliminates all those gatekeepers and all those filters that stop with innovative thinking and innovative sharing. And it also changes the power structure within many companies. And this is going to be um, uh, uh, frightening for many companies because the power structures have so long been controlled through org charts and bestowed titles. Nowadays, when there's open and free collaboration, the guy in the mail room with a good idea can share it, the CEO sees it, everybody sees it equally, there's shared situational awareness. Suddenly, the guy in the mail room with a good idea, his name and profile is associated with that idea, which is now archived, and the world can see where the idea came from, that person suddenly, not only are they smart and have good ideas, but they share them. Two things that make that person extraordinarily valuable to the company. 
suddenly, instead of 20 years being required to move up the chain, the guy with the new idea can be recognized day one when that idea comes out. These are changing so much. Collaboration environments are not just about changing org charts. They're about changing the way we collaborate with our internal employees, our customers, our partners, and even through smart products, the ability to collaborate, communicate, and understand and have shared situational awareness about data coming from machines in the Internet of Things. It's an exciting world out there. And um, I'm doing a lot of research and a lot of writing right now about the impact of internal social collaboration using mobile devices and how it's changing business models everywhere. Please stay tuned. We'll talk a lot more and I'll publish a lot more on that very topic. Thank you again for joining us. And I hope to see many of you in Barcelona next week at the Mobile World Congress. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm.